We've had several people when they get to the end and they've, you know, I got teary-eyed, I, I, I had chills. We actually want to elicit a different reaction from people. You know, the initial reaction we get is that, that feeling of, oh, I made you feel tension. Or you said, wow, that's amazing, right? That's such a big boss. But to do something that like a Hallmark commercial can achieve in 20 seconds, you know, sometimes a single shot and get you teary eyed and actually emotionally connected, very difficult in video games. Uh, but I think now part of it is simply just the, how we were viewing it and how we were connecting with the material. So we've had several people that have played through the entire game and have had that experience uh, when they get to the end and they've, you know, I got teary eyed. I, I, I had chills. Five years working on this game, it has to mean something. And story and narrative was a big part of this that we always kind of lean back on the Pixar's rules for storytelling, where one of the rules they have is you don't root for the main character because they succeed. You root for the main character because they fail over and over and over again, but they get up and they keep going, right? And I think for me, I think for everybody, we fail all the time in our real lives. So we sort of want to see somebody else. We want to model that behavior of like, all right, you do this poorly, but you got up and you kept going. And so then when I fail tomorrow, I'm going to kind of remember that, that lesson. And I think with Kratos, he, you know, bounced back and forth between between being too sympathetic, right? So that people say, oh, he's so nice, and he's like, white on gin. It's just too calm, right? It doesn't sound like Kratos. Or even worse, he's really mean. It's like playing a child abuse simulator. I hate this game. Uh, and then we kind of, you know, magically, you know, sort of hit on this thing where it was the perfect sort of voice. Only fire! Only fire when I tell you to fire. I'm sorry. Do not be sorry. Be better. These sort of key lines of don't be sorry, be better. And then that, that moment where he's yelling at Atreus, but then stops, takes a breath, and then talks in a more measured fashion so that you get Kratos, but you get the desire to change. You get that sense that he actually is not there yet, but he's trying. So much was going into making this game that I actually you know, didn't really get to see my son a lot. So it's really, it's heartbreaking to me and, and I feel like I just put a lot of that into the game as well. <laughs> Which, you know, makes it very difficult for me to play <laughs> without getting weepy.